these problems, I tell parents all the time, look, not every kid's perfect like I was. <laughs> um, you, if you have a problem with a child, the time to deal with it is the split second it happens, right? Because when they're two years old and they're throwing a tantrum in the grocery store, look, no, nobody gets hurt, right? But when that kid is 16, that tantrum now becomes taking the car without permission, drinking while they're driving, going off and getting somebody hurt or killed, or throwing you up against the wall, you slip and fall, hit your head on the counter. Everything takes on much more gravity if you wait for these kids to get older. My son, JJ, is out of control. When JJ gets angry, it's like a dog that's backed into a corner. JJ has no control over his emotions, and he will lash out at anyone telling him what to do. He just explodes. JJ will destroy furniture. He's thrown his bed across the room. JJ will take a screwdriver and punch holes in the walls. Knife mark, knife mark. Those are also knife marks as well. There's nothing that he won't destroy. JJ's not afraid to hit me. He will kick, punch, bite. If there's any objects around him, he will throw things at me. One day he had a knife and he told me that he would stab me. And I had just had enough. He had it in his hand and he was like, <sighs> I went up to him and I said, look, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? And he said, I'm gonna stab you with it. And I said, if you're gonna do it, do it. JJ will run away. One time he was missing. I called the police and I had to report him as uh, a runaway. As I was going through his messages on Snapchat, I found a picture of him holding a gun and with smoke coming out of his mouth. My biggest fear is that JJ is gonna either hurt himself or somebody else. I can't control my anger. Stop! Get out of my car if you're gonna sit here and kick it. There are several things that set me off. When people harass my friends, lay their hands on me, like in a rude way. My hands start tingling because I can feel like a rush of sensation go to my hands. And then my body kind of heats up. But when I'm like super fired up, my body will start like shaking because I'm so mad. I do want to control my anger, but I can't. Smoking marijuana at 10 years of age, not a good idea. Not a good idea at 11 or 12 or 13, I don't think it's a good idea, period, but <clears throat> when you're young, your brain is forming. It's changing every day. Your brain grows until you're 25 at least. And it's constantly changing. And when you get to be 18, 19, 20, it's actually pruning itself back. And when you smoke marijuana, it's like opening your computer up and pouring water inside. A lot of things short out, and it connects where it's not supposed to, and really creates problems. And this isn't my opinion. This is hard, solid, scientific research. It changes. And even occasional marijuana smokers will look at a multi-point drop in IQ even with just occasional use, like once a week or two or three times a month, you'll see IQ drop and motivational drop across time. It changes your brain. And for a 10-year-old child to be smoking dope, he's self-medicating his anxiety. So that, you understand why I said this child can't go home? If they had said no, and if they get back there and choke or something, she says, well, I just can't send him then I have to report it within 24 hours and the child will be removed. You, you can't send that child home. He's gonna hurt himself or her or somebody.